Welcome back to Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. Let's play The Beat Goes On. Beat. Wait, that's the wrong game. <laughs> Still trying to do the story mode. We're in World 3 right now. So now instead of bananas, you're collecting uh, collecting cans. If you played Jet Set Radio or Jet Set Radio Future, you know exactly what these are. Reversible gear, the good old funny level. Where you do have to be somewhat. You have to be a little bit even more precise than you used to be. Because your leeway is almost zero. If you get caught in. Uh, in that slope, you will just go out fast. You get even less leeway than you did before. Alright, so this level's a little, a little bit different compared to. Uh, the original. Also, this is another one of those uh, probably impossible levels to get all the bananas in. You also most likely need to head this direction if you want to get the banana goal. Out of curiosity, I don't know, even know what it is. It's 70. Yeah, so if you want to get 70, you probably needed to go right. This one only has 31, and still it's more than uh, originally. Because I think all those bananas at the start weren't there. A lot of these ones are still, but... The ones at the start are just usually the added ones. So, some really interesting design choices, I suppose. Mostly for the banana collector goal to try to make it a little bit challenging at times. So in a way, I guess I respect it, but at the same time, it does come at the cost of, uh, Ready? you know, Go. something later we'll talk about. Anyway, yep, no URL anymore here. This is just a good old regular push bar. Definitely uh this definitely a change they had to make. Alright, so Mad Rings, uh if we fall upward you'll get to see for yourself how uh how a fallout works in the opposite direction. Cause usually you fall down, but you know falling up is also a thing apparently. And we just did that first try, so no no big deal I suppose. When we get to uh, challenge mode, we'll actually go for warpless. Ready, go. All right. So this one's gonna be kind of a difficult one, banana-wise. What was that goal? Out of curiosity, forty. Okay. I mean, it doesn't sound like a lot, right? It really doesn't. But you're gonna have to go for some risk. Ideally, you want what you want to do is you want to just go for this and go back, right? That's one way to cheat this a little bit, and then I fell out miserably. <laughs> but you probably need to balance yourself on that second uh, hardest one, at least most of the way, I think. The camera gets a little complicated sometimes, you need to adjust with the right stick. Sometimes, if the camera decides it wants to be a bit weird. Because otherwise it gets real hard to balance on these things sometimes. 
you also don't have the GameCube advantage of like, you know, getting notches and holy shit, I'm almost out of time. That kind of took me by surprise. I didn't think I was that bad on time. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, so I pro I need this. I probably don't need the the singles. So I'm trying to save time a little bit if I'm trying to go for this banana mission. Really just for content and just to try to, you know, drive home the point that some of these missions are a little challenging at the very least. But again, if you're having trouble with a mission, you can always use the helper as long as the mission doesn't say you can't use the helper. So, for this banana mission, if you really are having trouble balancing yourself or you just don't really care to, then you can use the helper. Slow yourself down for a while as you're trying to balance. You know, it's also good practice, so if you're not really a good balancer, that's a way you can practice. We might be here for a little while, but again. If I just went for the goals all the time, that'd be a little easy, right? It's only fair. Oh, that was unfortunate. Right, so if you fall off five times, that prompt will show up and it'll ask you, do you want to use the helper? Be careful to say, make sure you say no, um, especially in challenge mode, because if you say yes, you will disqualify yourself from uh, reaching the EX levels, the extra levels. Um, if you use the helper on any level in challenge mode along the way. Here it doesn't matter. You get, you just use the helper for this level and then you'll just revert back to normal on the next one. But in challenge mode you really want to be careful not to uh, accidentally activate the helper. That prompt will always come up if you fall out five times in a level. It'll never come up again, but it'll come up that all the time at your fifth fallout, and there's no way to turn that off, unfortunately. Kind of makes me wish there was, but yeah. Sadly, there's no way to turn that off. Bruh. I'm making this a lot harder than it actually is. I don't know why. <laughs> uh... I will tell you, if I was just going for the goal, I'd be going for the first one or the second one for sure. I wouldn't be doing this otherwise. I'm not that crazy at this game. But I'm at least going to try to do as many missions as I can that, you know, are a little challenging at times. Okay, I really need to, like, not fall off there. That 10, uh, 10 can in this instance is like two feet off the main platform and not even two feet. And I'm like falling off in that, s that split second that I'm on that, which is like embarrassing. Ah! I got way too nervous there. I got way too nervous. Alright, alright, we gotta... We gotta keep moving. Oh my god. Why did I make that movement? If I had to think about it, I probably don't need to get those three in the back, but I do anyway, just for a little bit of extra insurance. Because I don't want to do all this and find out I have like 39 bananas, because that's going to be embarrassing. So you can see my arrows, they're like going all over the place. Oh my god, no! I got way too nervous again. I got way too nervous again. This is bad.
I honestly thought this was going to be easier than it actually was. Because, you know, I'm not even trying to balance on the smallest one. I'm trying to balance on a moderate one. It's kind of embarrassing that I'm failing this badly. Silence. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, All right, there we go. Three, that should not have been that hard. <laughs> what you could, what I could have also done the whole time is I could have gone from the back and gotten those two as well. I made that much harder than I, I should have made it. I actually kind of forgot about that. Oops. Oh well. <laughs> oh man. Oh shit. That's not good. <laughs> but yeah, another strategy is just to take it from the start and from the uh, from the back to get forty. And if you don't fail that four time, four times, and that that's that's just kind of it. But hey, I got fifty bananas. I guess it's always good. I'm sure there will be other, other embarrassments later. That's like a promise. Ready, That's a promise I'll make. Right, so falling fast, it's it's a thing in this game, right? Your air control really yeah, feels yeah. like it's a lot less because you're falling so fast. Your gravity is just that much more than it was. And it's a bit difficult to correct yourself yeah, yeah. as well once you make that first landing. So it is really challenging to make like these jumps compared to before. Ready? Not that they weren't challenging before, it's just that yeah. It, it does feel like something pretty difficult to do. I mean you bet your ass I'm still gonna do it, but yeah. I keep just barely missing the mark. He barely missing the mark. Fall out. Wow. Ready? There we go. Had to keep myself planted that time. Curious about the mission. What's the time mission on this? 30? Yeah, so you don't really have to do this for the time mission, but... It helps. Would probably have been a little more interesting if I did it the normal way. That's alright. Oh, another thing you might have realized if you played, uh... What is it? If you played um, NTSC uh, Monkey Ball 2, is uh, you know you had miles per hour. Here you have uh, kilometers per hour. Anyway, World Three movies. Let's go. Oh no, my ship is exploded! You ever notice how Dr. Bad Boon's assistant is just not making an appearance in these smaller cutscenes? funny because from the manual it states that uh, his assistant is like that loyal to Dr. Bad Boon that he always shows up after even after Dr. Bad Boon just leaves him behind so it's kind of amusing all right well world 4 is next there's gonna be a small surprise coming up in this one so come back for the next part